what's up everybody welcome back to channel code x in today's video i'm going to show you how to create responsive application so make sure to watch complete video we're gonna start right after this intro welcome back once again i hope you like my brand new intro so before we start looking at this code let me tell you that responsive applications are the need of the time because flutter web is around the corner it's going to be released soon and you want to make sure that your application works on web as well so for that it's very important to learn the responsive application so with that being said let's start with the coding part so as we always do we can delete this default home page and i'm going to create our own home page so i'll just make it a little bit fast forward so that we don't waste time in there okay so now let's just resolve this home page and remove the title property because our home page doesn't accept any title perfect so we got our brand new page to start working on and let's go ahead and add some body to it so first thing first i will wrap this inside the safe area because we're gonna rotate the application and it will come under the notch and all those things so i'm just gonna wrap this in safe area and the child will be column so basically we are going to create part of this website where you can see this slider over here and next to it there's a intro text so what happens when you resize the application like this website and when it is in the mobile form you can see that the slider is on top and the title text the intro text is below that and if you have enough room it just uh, you know changes its position so that is what responsive is all about depending on the device depending on the size availability you have to adapt to it you have to change the layout you have to change the position sizing and all those stuff so we're gonna see that in today's application in today's tutorial and these two widget will be working on so let's go ahead and place them inside a column to save our time i have already created this dummy widgets so for the slider part i created this container which has you know fixed height and width which is 16 is to 9 ratio okay because i don't want to waste your time creating all those dummy widgets and second widget i'm going to add is this text view which has the title text from the channel codex all right so we have two widgets placed one below the other which looks fine on the uh, portrait mode but when you rotate your phone using command left arrow you can see that we have enough room on the left hand side and the right hand side of the card but still it's coming one below the other so that is what we have to fix with responsive design so to make it responsive we have to wrap our child with the layout builder and with the help of layout builder we will be getting the constraints of size so what is the size if it's changing or all those information will be getting inside the layout builder right you can wrap with stream builder because we are going to work with the layout builder so just to get that template you can wrap with stream builder and then just change the name to layout builder so this is what hack i use all the times and then simply remove the stream and everything is up and running and i think it's fine just that thing that it doesn't return a snapshot so this is just a name even if you leave it like this no issue but for readability we'll make it constraints so inside layout builder what we're gonna do is we'll be comparing the constraints okay so we'll be checking the size in terms of width so constraints dot max width okay if it has enough room so now we have to define the breakpoints what width is considered as mobile what width is considered as tablet and what width beyond the tablet is considered as desktop so that is what you have to define so different different uh, you know uh, there are different standards which you can follow so what i follow is if the width is less than 760 8 pixel then you can say okay this may be mobile app else you may want to define the other conditions for the tablet and for the desktop as well but for demo sake i'll just keep it else okay 
So if it is less than 768, which means it is in the portrait mode, it is a mobile factor, okay, mobile form factor. So return one layout, otherwise return the landscape mode. So this is two condition we're gonna work with, all right? So we have this first solution ready. If it is less than 768, this is what we're gonna return. And in else condition, I'm gonna use the row, okay? So let's just check that quickly. So now you can see that in the form of landscape, it's showing us side by side. And when we turn it to portrait, it's showing up and down, right? Fine. So now we have to fix our code because you can see that we are duplicating the container text all over the places. And this is not the case. You should be writing your code and how we can fix that is just go ahead and say command dot. Okay and you want to extract this method so basically what we're going to do is instead of writing the widget directly inside one of the size we're going to create a method for it so i'll say build okay slider or build banner banner slider okay whatever it is so here we have it and the text also i'll just extract a method and i'll say build title text or better i can say build intro text now this is something which you have to keep in mind while creating the responsive application you have to create the widgets in the form of method so or or maybe you can wrap in form of widget as well so it has to be modular same widget you're gonna call from different places so instead of duplicating you can just call this two widgets from anywhere and whenever you want to make changes you can do that easily in one place and it's going to affect all the places right okay now it is working totally fine so next thing which we're gonna fix is this issue over here in the landscape mode you can see that we are running out of space and easily we can fix in one of these orientations so i'm just going to say wrap with widget and I'll wrap with expanded widget. Perfect. We have fix over here. We don't need any expanded in the portrait mode. So easily we fixed only in one form factor, still keeping the same child widget, but we just added expanded in one of the form factor, which is landscape mode, right? And also in landscape, I need some spacing. So I will say sized box. Perfect. Now we're going to make this solution even better by providing some abstraction to the layout builder. And what we're going to do is create a helper method, which will be responsible for changing all the layouts. And we'll just be passing the different layout, which we need on different form factor, right? So let's go ahead and create a new file for the helper. I'll call responsive helper. Okay. And I'm going to import material as always. And I will create a stateless widget called responsive widget. Cool. And inside here, we'll be accepting three widgets. So one for the mobile, one for the tablet, and one for the web. So basically for landscape, you can use either tablet or web, doesn't really matter. And for mobile, we have already the mobile widget, right? <laughs> okay. So now we have desktop. So let's go ahead and create a constructor which has all these fields. So here we want to return the layout builder. Uh, let me just copy paste from here real quick. Is there any issue? Yes. Perfect. So now we have the layout builder and of course we're going to use the same condition. If the max width is less than 768, we will consider this as mobile else. We will consider it as landscape. I'm going to return the mobile widget. Okay. Else I'm going to return the tab widget. So this tab will be basically treating as the landscape mode. All right. And desktop also you can define if you are having that condition. 
So now we're gonna go to the home page and instead of calling the layout builder, I'll be calling responsive widget, okay? And we don't have to define any of the condition right now. So let me just go ahead and comment everything out. We don't need this anymore. So I will say responsive widget, okay? And here I can define that for mobile, consider this column, okay? Comment it, uh, uncomment this and remove the semicolon, of course. And similarly, I'm going to provide the tab layout. Of course, uh, we are not working with the desktop, so I'm just going to leave it for now. For the tab, it will be in the row format. So I'm just going to copy paste again here, uncomment everything. So let's save it, okay, and run one more time. Now you can see that it's changing properly. So this is the core concept of responsive application. I hope you people enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing the channel. And you may also want to check these two related Flutter videos. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.